Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you're watching this. And in the first of my non-bike reviews, I'd like to talk about some boots, in particular the ones that I wear. I spoke to a police officer who rides motorbikes uh, 15 or so years ago and asked for his recommendation on boots and they said their police standard issue is a Daytona Roadstar GTX. GTX for the Gore-Tex bit, Daytona the manufacturer and Roadstar the model. Um, these are very, very good boots. You get a uh, flap on the back which is secured with a couple of bits of Velcro which allied with the two zips at the front, one either side, means that you can roll these perfectly to your car. Um, I've just shown you a slightly older version than the versions that are currently available. The current versions also have two Velcro flaps to uh, help the zip stay in place and some nice solid zip pulls as you can see here. So you've got two zips, the longer one goes on the outside of the boot, the shorter one goes on the, mid the inside. So the way you uh, would mould these to your feet when you start out with a pair, you, mold, you uh, set the Velcro to the back and then quite simply zip up the longer of the two zips first because that's the one that will actually um, close the boot and then the shorter one of the two keeps it really really snug against your calf. Um, if you need to you can then undo the velcro and redo it to adjust it perfectly to your foot. These are very very high quality boots. Um, GTX I mentioned earlier with the Gore-Tex here you go, there's a nice Gore-Tex lining in there. I've never had one of these leak. You can see from the state of them that um, I don't really clean them that much and um, I don't treat them with anything. The Gore-Tex is perfectly good. A um, couple of downsides. First of all, the price, they are very expensive. Secondly, they don't have any thermal lining in, so a good thick pair of socks in winter is necessary or possibly two thin pairs of socks, which I prefer. I also buy them one size too large, half a size in the UK, a full size in the uh, Europe. So I'd go from a 9.5 to a 10 in the UK, from a 43 to a 44 in European sizes, and I've never had any problem with them. They uh, survived a crash where I wrote off uh, pretty much the right hand side of my body, a car and the CB500 I was riding at the time. I'd thoroughly recommend these as a, a good boot. 50,000 miles use out of them is definitely easily achieved and um, there you go, a cracking boot and uh, I hope to see you in the next review video.